Baroth is a brute wyvern introduced in Monster Hunter Try It. Brute wyverns are monsters that stand on two legs, and they have two short front facing arms, a head and a tail. Baroth is one of the very first introduced to the series, and he tends to live in arid regions. He has a large ridge on his head that he uses to attack with. Most times to try also has a flying wyvern named Baryoth, but aside from being in the same game, the two are unrelated. Baroth's main method of attacking is charging. He bows his head and rushes at you in an attempt to hit you with his ridge. He can also rush forward in a bite attack or bite to the side. Baroth likes to roll around and coat himself with mud, which can reduce the damage you deal to him. It can be broken off, which causes shiny drops to fall. When he's covered in mud, he can shake it off, causing it to drop around him, and getting hit will cause you to be covered in it. Baroth is usually stuck in one place during this attack, so while it's free damage, there's a lot of risk involved. He has other attacks, such as being able to swing his tail around, or smash his ridge down. If his head is covered in mud, then huge blobs will fall on the ground. Baroth's ridge can actually be broken off fully and carved, but only when you're using a blunt weapon. Doing this will stop him from expelling mud with his ridge slam. Baroth returned for Portable 3rd, and changed from Try in terms of moveset. In this game he has a subspecies, the Jade Baroth. This one lives in the tundra, and is a different colour, with a larger ridge on his head. Rather than mud, Jade rolls around in the snow and can coat hunters in it. Jade has a few moveset changes as well. He has a hip check, and he can dig out ice chunks with his ridge and toss them at you. Jade can also charge like Baroth, but he has a different alternate charge that has him move around in unpredictable directions, where he will often try and curve around to catch you off guard. They both return to 3 ultimate. Here, Baroth has a hip check like Jade and the other brute wyverns, and he can sling mud behind him as he charges. Jade moves a bit faster than before, but otherwise has no other changes, and this game is currently his last appearance. Baroth skipped for ultimate, which is the only entry he's missed. He returned for generations ultimate. He is mostly a direct copy of his 3 ultimate version, but this one will slightly curve his charges to try and catch you off guard. Baroth is also in Most Hunter World. In this game, the mud won't cut you anymore since that status has been removed, but it will leave pools behind that severely slow you down. More of his attacks leave mud on the ground, like his hip check. He can also smack his tail down or side to side, leaving mud behind if it's been coated. A funny addition in this game is that Baroth will try and expel mud from his body even when he doesn't have any on him, and this results in him looking confused, wondering why nothing is falling off. Icebawn Baroth pretty much has no additions, with the exception of his rate of attack. Baroth is also in Rise and is relatively unchanged from World, although in this game he tends to move a bit faster. In Sunbreak, he spreads much larger mud puddles with his attacks. Baroth is alright, I don't particularly have a favourite. I think he's a good introduction to the medium difficulty monsters, since in the third generation games and world, that is where you would encounter him. He teaches you about roars, how to look out for charges, as well as status ailments. I didn't like him in Generations Ultimate, because he felt out of place there, like a last minute addition, which to be honest he probably was. He's actually the urgent quest to enter HR10, but I feel like Baryoth would have been a better choice. He works better when you place him in the beginning of the game, rather than the third quarter, which was why he should have just been in the base game. His moveset is basic compared to pretty much everyone you faced up until that point, so fighting him feels weird. The Jade Baroth was introduced in a game that really revolutionised subspecies, where they have actual substantial differences. In this case, the ice chunks and the alternate charging are minor changes that really impact the fight in a big way, and they make this Baroth feel much more challenging. It's a shame he hasn't returned, because he's really cool. I'm surprised Jade wasn't in Iceborne, considering he would have been placed in the Hoarfrost Reach, but my guess is they thought he was too similar to Bambaro, and decided against it. But even then, giving Jade's attacks to the standard Baroth, maybe in his tempered form, could have really gone a long way in making him feel more fresh. Now that I think about it, Jade is probably my favourite Baroth, and I hope he returns for future games. Which Baroth is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.